Voila. My man. How we doing, buddy? Welcome back to the studio, bud. It's nice to be here with you. It's nice to be in here. Hey, we're in here basically Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday now. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I got to say, I was even here Monday. You do come in on Mondays. I like what, Mondays. You know, it gets me out of the house. What are you? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Gets me out of the house. I come in. I, I usually text the boys and say, what's up, fellas? Anyone want some lunch? Sorry, Max. I didn't text you that yesterday. I actually asked Al. <laughs> Just oh, boom. Oh, that truth it. comes out. My bad. My bad. Al said I got some wholesome that I, I ordered yesterday. So I'm bringing that in. Little leftovers, which is fine. Wholesome Bistro. Shout I out. I love Wholesome Bistro. Um, but uh, listen, no, I come in. I try to put my mind to work, you know? Create some ideas for the fella tour coming up. Yeah. Fucking start just buzzing. Yeah, yeah. Buzzing, buzzing. I, I, feel, buzzing. I feel like uh, a lot of emails probably, right? Like a couple you, emails. You work that fucking thing over pretty good. Like I'll tell you what, this it's more on the weekends, it's uh, gambling and text messaging. And then on the Monday, it's emails. Yeah. So it's, you know, give and take. Well, well just, I can imagine the emails that are coming. They're just, it just every stretch of the world, right? Of the emails, like yeah, from missing yeah. curfew to, to everything else, to, 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 Land development to, to kid stuff, it's a little to, bit of everything. But, yeah, you know, seeing what the kids' schedules like at school, seeing what Big Canyon's doing on the weekend, trying to get in the Thanksgiving dinner there. Um, Are you? I did tell you what I did though. Is I, I listened to you and Cooley on uh, oh, you yeah. know Power Play. Yeah. You said I'm cool. going on for an hour. I fired that on. <laughs> I took that in. Yeah. Great takes. There's some great takes there, fella. You yeah, guys are great. Cools is buzzing. He's, I mean, he's high octane. I had to take a little step back from from NHL just because. You know, obviously, as you should. Yeah, yeah. Building the brand. This bud, is us. Brand. This is our baby here, and this is. But yeah, it's it's good to get on there with Cools for an hour, and yeah, it flies by because he, like you said, you sat down with him in the studio in Toronto. He just brings it. You're like, holy man, how do you? Yeah, he's that five days a week. No, I know. And, and when he asks one question and you get into it, you could see him already fired up for the next. Right? It's wild. Yeah, he's a pro. How awesome. how is uh, how are we get that uppies world? But let's you you said gamble, and let's let's start right there with NFL football. We are. Maxi, we're officially at the halfway point of the season. Are we? Are we? All right, we're past that. I think that, that was week nine. We're going on week ten, aren't we? we just yeah. past the halfway. point. Oh, this eight, is week. 18, there's eighteen weeks. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there's eighteen weeks now. Yeah. They bumped yeah. her up. I thought it was seventeen. Seventeen games. 17 they all games. get a buy. So uh-huh. there's eighteen weeks. See. Look at what I'm. And this. Look, and this. Look at what so, I'm dealing with no, in my fantasy football. No, you know what? There's not many. There's not many weeks there are. But no, you know what? This even makes me more pissed off about fantasy football. Oh. Let's just get this out. Okay, get it out. There. This is your platform. Larry right? Bettman, all right? Larry he's got he's got our 10-team league, Max, playing into a six-team playoff. What are we talking about here? Six teams play? What did, top six out of 10 make the playoffs and the first two get a bye? I don't... The fuck are we doing? <laughs> How do you not make the playoffs then? No, it's like, but yet, why sit out four? Why is it not just a one for eight? He's like, because, you know, he's like, you don't even know football because all the guys get rested. I'm like, well, if there's 18 fucking weeks, the guys don't get rested till week 17. What are we, what are we doing, right? At least week 17, maybe perhaps not even till week 18. So that that's why they do it, right? Because the last week of the season, they don't want everyone just sitting their guys out and screws everything up. Is that, I don't even know either. Is that why they do oh, it? I think it's a joke. Yeah, it, yeah. You don't want your fantasy championship decided on week 18 of the NFL yeah. season. No. So what about week 17? Week 17 would be perfect. Yeah. You know, and that gives you four rounds of playoffs, right? So you want the whole team? You want the whole league to make the playoffs? <laughs> no, one, one for eight. One plays eight. Two guys miss. Two seven. Two guys miss. <laughs> Two guys miss. What's wrong with two guys? Listen, I'm a big league. What's I, the point of the regular season then? I, 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 well, I'll tell you what. I'm third in points and I only got three wins. So it's a joke. It's, you know, Jefferson gets hurt. I, I've fallen on the short end of the stick here. I mean, listen, I've missed the playoffs the last two years. I, I would be all for, you know, eight teams getting in. But I I mean, I, I yeah, when you miss a, the playoffs, you just got to take it. What are we chair. talking about? Buys in, in fantasy football? What is this? This is not MLB or like, you know, the real pros. This is fantasy. It's just, this is more important, isn't it? This yeah. Is more important. This is more important than By the way, I like made a stuff. blockbuster today. Yeah, let's get right into blockbuster. it. Blockbuster. No, no, no. No, no, no. Well, let's hear da, the trade. Where's Steve Levy when you need him to break let's, this? Let's hear the trade. I, uh, I, last week, I threw it out there, me and Shaddy. I went after the best in the league. I offered the best. Well, you had, just so the fellas out there, if I you remember, he has... Allen and Joe Burrow on his team. So he has two legit quarterbacks. I picked two quarterbacks in my first four picks of my draft. I picked Jefferson first, and I picked Josh Allen. And then I picked Derrick Henry, and then I picked uh, who's been. What do you want for Derrick Henry? I traded him already, so I'll tell you this. So then, And then I picked Joe Burrow, top four. And then Shaddy, I remember during the draft, he texted me. He's like, grab Aaron Rodgers next. So I, <laughs> you know, anyway, I just traded. I, I kept the two quarterbacks because usually one guy goes down on a team and they're scrambling for a guy and I knew that 
you know, having two is going to be good trade bait because I did it with you for Tyreek Hill last year. And now this year, did. That's this right. year I got you bet me over Cam McCaffrey and Devonte Adams, who is going to have a you know, new quarterback. But Raiders won Christian this McCaffrey. Yeah, who did I say? Oh, Cam. Cam. I played junior with Cam McCaffrey. Good guy. Yeah, he's a tough. Yeah, he fought lefty. He's who had more skill, Christian or Cam? Christian. <laughs> it's Christian who's McCaffrey's making, the stuff. Who's making more? I was Christian going after Cam? CMC, buddy. I was going after him. I get a touchdown every. And game. then I traded. I asked Shaddy who he wanted. I offered him. You know, Josh Allen, because there's a week, his bye week is 13, which kind of screws me. But Josh Allen is, he's the point getter. Um, but he wanted Burrow and he wanted Derrick Henry. So I traded Christian McCaffrey and Devontae, Devontae Adams. Adams for, and now I put in Devontae Adams back in the trade block. Really? What do you want for him? I, I got to have a look. I, I want to trade him I for don't, a guy that doesn't have a bye. Listen, I'm I, scrapping. I huh? I'm scrapping to hang in that. I bet you don't. Besides Mahomes, there's probably nobody on my team that's really you're probably interested in. So I'll tell you what. If I was in a better position right now, Max. Was like, you just teed me up. You're not. I, I don't know what you're thinking here. You're right in this thing. Besides the bumper trumpers for Flowers, who's 8-1. I'm about to beat him again this week. Don't worry. I'll take him down a peg or two for you. I'd rather him beat you. Then there's a clog jam. Then there's a log jam at 5-4. and four. Fact Daddy loops. Shenner, Mackel, me, um, Schwartz at four and five, fuck, fuck machine hot hot at three and six. You're 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 in this. That's my squad. You're in this. Like I mean, you're you're. I know I'm in this. Two wins. But... You're back in this. Oh, even a win, you're in this. I got Shaddy. So we just made a big blockbuster day, and we play each other this weekend. He's he's dead last, and I'm second last. So what I'm saying is, the all those one, two, three, four, the five teams at five and four, one or two of them got to lose this week. Like you're in this thing. I don't think you're as far out of it as you think. Bro. Okay. Well, I like the I like the effort, but you, you're a guy that hasn't really made the playoffs much. You probably think you're in it right till the bitter end. I think no, I'm no, out. No, I think listen, I'm out. The last two years, I knew I was out. I mean, I tried to make a trade the one year that Larry Bettman that we're trying to keep swearing down here, so I won't say what I really want to say. But I tried to make a trade for I don't know who it was. It, it, I just needed a, a receiver or a running back that week because if I lost that week, I was out. And he Kai bossed the trade on me. I lost that week and my season was over. Like. I would say if we were playing better, you would be done. But it, it, besides Be- besides Larry Bettman, it, it's it's kind of anyone's to get in. Felt is uh, don't what, give up. Let guys. me see this here. Let me see when Jefferson's bye week is thirteen. Ooh, see Jefferson. I'm going to put him on the block this week because he's coming back. Yeah, he's on. What do you think, Max? I need a guy for week thirteen. I think that? Dobbs is a wild card right now. Dobbs. I, I, Dobbs won me some money this week. By the way, he's like a. Poor man's Josh Allen, the way he runs. You need to be a running quarterback now if you're in this league, I think. Mahomes, Allen, Burrow, these guys, they they just they're quick to you just need to be an athlete. Jump a hole. Yeah. Burrow's looking. Joe Cool's back baby. He's, he, he, he's got the nicest he does, passes he, he in the He does league. these little shoulder like, mm. like I wanted to look And then he fakes the guy and it's just like boom. I'm gonna throw a massive bet on them. Speaking of massive bets, if I wasn't betting hockey, I would be I'd be up. I had myself another week. I took the Chiefs over in Germany. I took the Baltimore Ravens just to lay the wood to A-Hall Seahawks. I took... Slay the wood. Just eh? lay the wood. Did you I, any wood this week? I yeah. took the Eagles against the Cowboys, and then I took the Bengals against the Bills. And I was going perfect till last night and the New York Jets. I mean, listen, I'm not going to pretend I, I, I know everything about football because I don't. And I, I'm not saying I could be an offensive coordinator, but like... That guy's lucky he's Aaron Rodgers' best buddy, Hackett, whatever his name is. Is that his name, Max? Uh, yeah. Because, like, you got to draw up some different schemes for Zach Wilson here. He, he, just having him drop back, it's not working. Like, try to get some guys involved, a little, a little tomfoolery, a little trickery, maybe a little flea flicker. Like, he's not Aaron Rodgers. You can't just have him drop back, and he's getting just annihilated by Bosa and Mack. Do you see that Bosa's interview at the end of the game? I didn't. His nose is bigger than Brace Colbert's <laughs> nose. But his he is massive, man. I, I saw the Bosa brothers, Max, at the Waste Management. These guys, I'm telling you. They took freaks. Up, they took up the whole tent. They were massive. They're gigantic human beings. I don't know, boys. I'm seeing NFL. I don't want to jinx myself here, but I, football has been good to me, which it usually doesn't. I'm in the mix in fantasy. I, I like what's going on. I just I like want to, while, while we got this up on our my DraftKings Sportsbook app, I want to see right now, because I might could throw a little bet on it, is, let me see, futures. Okay, Super Bowl. Right now, you can get the Cincinnati Bengals at 1,200. I would maybe tickle that. I would maybe tickle that. 
The Bills right now are plus 2,000, but I like the Bengals. The Bengals are better than the Bills, in my opinion. Can they beat KC is the, is the question. I think for the first time in a while, like, well, obviously, I think that year, KC's it's... beatable, but their defense, man, it's not even about Mahomes right now. Kansas City's defense is young, fast, and what's their coordinator, Spolster or whatever? He brings the heat. Pin the ears back, yeah. and he lets these boys just, like you back in the day in Cobble, just go. Just go. Mandela, Mandela. And I'll see him, I'll see him on the planes at 2 o'clock. Just don't miss it. I'll just go. Go, all right? That's that one song we used to play leaving Cabo all the time. You remember that? I don't. Oh, uh, it's so good. I, when I leave it was Cabo, called Sunscreen. When I used to leave Cabo with yeah, you, we I, I would just be like. Oh, by like this guy, Bach, someone. It's it's an incredible like. Uh, How do you remember what we I go song? Every time I would go to the airport and Enrique would be driving me, I'd put this on because I'd be coming off a three-dayer. And it would just put me in the best mood, almost shed a tear as he'd go through the customs and you're like ah oh, i was billy shed- quinn's house again i was shed a tear for how bad i felt yeah i like believe it cobble it's just i don't <laughs> know like, what's worse where's that where's that, where's that bathroom at <laughs> cobble <laughs> man oh man it's ugly um i might go down and go cobble for new year's actually i'm not thinking of yeah. fun. uh fantasy football the league larry bettman's league i think up dogs i think it's wide open i don't think larry's team's is the league's easy. a joke and by the way with larry bettman jalen hurts his knees hanging on by a thread I don't care what anyone says. The, the buy coming up this week's big, but he is like, I'm telling you, one little thing like that, he may be, I don't know. I don't know. Dallas Goddard. For our friends in, at DraftKings, you know, our, our fans that uh, might be liking to place a little futures bet there that you brought up, up dog. Yeah. We're halfway through the season. Who are your picks to, to take the Super Bowl at this point? Wow. I, I mean, I like geez. the Bengals. I mean, I would say right now, I'm still going to go with the Kansas City Chiefs because of their defense. And in the NFC, I love the Niners, but I, I pretty the way he's played lately, I'm not sure. Dude, I, I, I hate to say this, and I, I know Des, Dak Prescott's going to probably do it again to me, but, man, the Cowboys, I thought that even though they lost, that was kind of a little statement that they went in there and slinged it around. They should have won the game. They should have won the game. so many chances. I would tickle the Cowboys. I, I, I know they're going to let me down, and all I can see is that pigeon Stephen A. Smith yelling about them on ESPN, but I don't know. What do you think about the Cowboys, Max? You can't take the Cowboys. You like, can't take the Cowboys. You can't take the Cowboys. It's just a proven track record. You, I know. So who do you like, the Eagles or the or the Niners? I like the Dolphins. I think that Mike McDaniel, football nerd, is going to pull something out. Dolphins. They haven't beat a good team all year. I love the coach. Love yeah. yeah. Um, I'll bet you the Dolphins lose in the first round. They just they, listen. They every time they play a good team over five hundred, they get smoked. Yeah, and they're better. And then they just work. Teams that suck. Detroit, not Lions, not a sign of a championship squad. Um, I after listen after watching Joe Burrow and betting on Josh Allen, I'm now a Cincinnati Bengal guy. Joe Burrow. I mean, you Joe fought, I was always a Joe Burrow fan, hence why I picked him fourth overall. You finally lost enough money on the, on Allen that you're like, hey buddy, sorry, I can't, I can't afford you anymore. No, yeah, well, no, I bet Josh Allen. That's what I mean. But you've had enough. I know. Nah, he's just. He gets me points, but he loses me money. I'm going to go to the Lions-Chargers game this Sunday. My boy, the franchise, Shane Taylor's in town. I'm going to go up there. But, Alex, I, I'm the Lions, once again, dude, Jared Goff, I know he's been to a Super Bowl. He I like doesn't turn the ball over. I like Jared Goff. doesn't turn the ball over. He doesn't turn the ball over. But can he give his balls a tug when it comes to crunch time? Can you give him a tug and make that sick throw he's got to make? Can he? Yeah. I don't know. They can go into Dallas and beat him, and beat him in a playoff game. I just thought Dallas, that was a little statement there going into the link. And like they should have, you're right. I, I had Eagles money line. I'm like, run the clock. What are we waiting for here? I think that game meant a lot more to the Cowboys than it did to the Eagles. What do we think about Carson Wentz coming to sling some balls for the Rams? Who cares? <laughs> Is that who they're bringing in? That's what I just read. All right, guys. It popped up down in it. Too. Yeah, he's not too. I don't know. Football is, I don't know. I've been, I've been enjoying it. When you win in football, it's a lot. Like the last couple of years, I've just been getting murdered. I had to quit. Like I, I went upshaw style halfway through the year. I'm like, I'm done. I'm out of here. I can't. You guys talk it. about parody in the NHL. I feel like this year there's a lot of parody in the NFL. Yeah. Well, there was in baseball too. Yeah, you're right. Y'all, dude. It's I'm, the year of the parody. You know what? Uh, the I'm parody. sorry. I, the Baltimore Ravens. I think it could be their year too, man. I, I love Lamar. I love what they're doing. Uh, I would tickle Baltimore too. So I guess I'm going Baltimore or Kansas City. You're able to see. <laughs> Just tickle them all. No, no, I'll give you a I'll give a parlay. I'll give you four teams. I'll give, <laughs> <laughs> do a three team parlay for the Super Bowl. Here. I'll give you four teams. Chiefs, Ravens, Cowboys, Niners. You left the Bengis off there. I got the I'm taking the Bengis off. Okay, I got the Bengis off. 
No I gave my four teams. No Eagles. Bengies, Eagles. For me. I think Hurts I think Hurts is more banged up than he's going to the Super Bowl. Bengies. But I'll Eagles. tell you what, man. This I hurts. Go to that. This hurts. He's I remember Flowers. He thinks he knows everything about football. He's like, can't throw down the field. Can't make the long throw. Well, he's just throwing Dilford Diamonds to AJ yeah. Brown. He's going to end it. And fucking Smith. Like it's going out of style. Guy's nasty. He got swag. But I'm worried about that wonky knee, man. I think it's wonky. I think it's wonky. Yeah, and he's I mean, he's he's not a guy that just sits back in the pocket. Like he ha- he runs he's yeah. often on the outside. He's what do you think the moving. what do you think of the brotherly push or tush or what's it called? I the think it's brotherly great. push. I I, I think they should I was on? swearing at the TV this Sunday when they should have just they should do that on first and ten with like with a couple minutes to go. They should just start tush pushing the whole way down. Well, brotherly shove. They? The brotherly shove. Yeah. The brotherly shove. Prove that you're gonna stop me. I'm gonna get three yards here. I'm gonna get maybe four. They don't next. get three every oh, time. I mean, oh, yeah, one to two. Still, that's like the go de- for that's it. like the devil's play the trap back and I don't it's care. not good for T V. I don't yeah, it is actually. Why? Try to Bunch stop of guys push each other. Line up like that and then maybe hit the wide guy. That was but like how football that. originated like hundred and fifty years ago. Like yeah, that was no the game. Buggers. Was just two sides just <laughs> pushing back and forth. Back Grabbing and each forth. other's nuts. Dude, speaking about rugby, uh, I watched a little bit of the World Cup that just happened. You should see the size of these boys. Five. Like these guys from New Zealand and South Africa, like monsters. Five. I know. Monsters. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Um, Updog, don't give up on your fantasy team, buddy. And by the way, I'm always open for business. So I've looked at my squad, let me know. A little update here at the Missing Curfew family. My dad, Patter, uh, Patter, <laughs> Pat, a.k.a. Pitter O'Brien. I love you, Pitter. Could have made the NHL, though. Yeah, you're a great dad. Good guy to golf with. Good guy to drink with. But I should have known not to mention anything. That thought someone stole his hockey and can of towels. So we got a good platform here. I said, all right, let's get out there. Fell off his bag. <laughs> and his buddy Gary Woods stuffed in his golf bag for us. So it wasn't ever stolen. So I'm sorry to everybody out there that I thought you I got stealing. pissed off. Yeah, I apologize. Ah, Pitter, too. tighten it up, Pitter. Come on, baby. So the towel's back. We don't have to give him that one, which is great. But throw it in the washing machine, though, eh, Pitter? Oh, he's give like, it a little rinse. Oh, he's like you. He's neat and tidy. Is he? Oh, he oh, washes okay. that yeah. towel. There yeah. wouldn't be that towel wouldn't be looking. He cleans locked. his clubs after every shot. Oh, he's a neat freak like you, buddy. Look at that. Ah, he keeps, a runs a tight ship, Pitter. We have a good roommate. Always said that. Be a good roommate. Good guy. I said, yeah, you would maybe miss practice more. Does he sit down when he pees though? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. He's got a couple never of fake asked, knees, never right? Well, no, that's a good I, roommate. You don't want to be you don't I, want to be waking up from a guy, you know, in the bathroom. You're sitting down when you're peeing nowadays, are you? Oh, you got it when you had a roommate, right? I don't know. I mean, I just do the lean on the wall. Yeah, but yeah, that sound would wake the guys up. Oh, you mean in the room? Yeah, roommate, but I meant like uh, sharing an apartment. Oh, you mean Not just a hotel like hotel room? Oh, okay. Did you sit down and piss when you were in the NHL? Yeah, yeah. I always sit down to pee. Really? Well, you clean your own bathroom. What about you guys? No, no, I don't. I don't what? Know. You don't sit down to pee. No, I treat do, yourself. I do the I do the head lean. Well, yeah, if you're at the bar, but not if you're no, no. But, but at home. I, I like to sit down. I miss the porcelain a lot. Yeah, like when my girls in town, I really. Yeah, how, how big are your toilets? Regulation size. Yeah, so that's that's probably why you want to get an extra big toilet. Yeah, then you sit down. When my girls in town, I really got a little dinky one. Then I'd I'd probably. Try I really to try it. to put the seat down. I'm good at that, obviously, right? You got to be a gentleman, and I try to hit the toilet. But when she's not in town, I, it's a free throw. Like when I wake up, there's yeah. there's. There's piss everywhere, probably, yeah. but, but I clean it up. The... Clean it up. Yeah, I clean. Oh yeah, that happens with that. Oh, <laughs> Sharon, what the hell's going on here? But, uh, up dog, that's going to be a good clip. We're going to see how people think about the up dog sitting down to pee. You might. I, 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 come that. Treat yourselves. All right, I'll try it out. Put, put, one one pa- put one of those pads on the toilet bowl. <laughs> yeah, was... I'm sure there's times I sat down that I thought I had to go to the bathroom and maybe it just peed, but like I, I was. If any time I sit down, there's intention that I'm going to take a dump. You know what I mean? Never know. <laughs> never, never. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is going to be great for DKN Network. Hey, Max, you got your hands cut out for that, though. You might have to cut that one out. But serious news up, dog. Our boy, Sheldon Walitsky, is putting on an alumni game in the beautiful city of a little place called Aspen. The first ever outdoor alumni classic. Listen, He's calling it. This Carbondale, guy. Colorado, December 9th. This guy is a national leaguer. He's pulling out all the stops. Uh, we posted the guys that have committed to play. Good looking lineup. Good yeah. looking national leaguers, guys that like to party, guys that like to have a good time. It's going to be a great event. It's for Colorado Extreme Hockey. Uh, if you'd like to donate $5 to that cause, that would be great. Uh, I guess if you're in the area, come on out, right? Is that what we're are we saying? Come on out? Or what yeah. Saying? Come I on mean, out. and listen to the guys listening, the alumni. Is, uh, if I haven't reached out to you already or I have, get back to me. Eh? we got a couple more spots. Do we? I'm planning on going in there and kicking the shit out of you guys. Yeah. By yeah. the way, I'm skating who's this on, week. Who's on your team? I'm skating this week. You want to come? Uh, no. 
No? No. You're just going to go in ice cold. Fuck, huh? did he? <laughs> I, I just kind of hope my sticks get here. Frosty, my man. Shout out to our boy Frosty. Love ya. And uh, his boy, Timmy Schultz. Schultz, at CCM. He's got, me, uh, he's got me two sticks coming. And you know what's important? He's got me a brand new set of fresh gits coming up. He, really? CCM, brand new. He goes, you want, uh, uh, what do you say? You want loose fit or tight fit? I go, you make that baby as loose as you can make that stuff for me, fella. So I, I got new gitch coming, new socks, and new sticks. So I'm excited. I'll be, will I be able to cut my stick there? Like, will they have a saw for me? Because I'm going to be coming in. I'm, I'm going to need to cut a stick. He's got everything. Yeah. By the way, the Colorado Extreme, the program he set up, these kids, the under 10s, just went out and won again. I think that's their fourth, I saw tournament, that. fourth tournament in a row. So shout out to them. Three years in the making. These kids who are all up valley kids in uh, in Carbondale and and Aspen, they man, they're they're out for a reckoning. They're just they they're coming the in and they're kicking everyone's butt and it's great. Um, and then so Sheldon, I mean this is outdoor ring is that because they're flying around his private plane or what? They're like, all right, boys, get off the plane, let's no, go here. They're taking let's the bus. Let's go here, boys. Let's go. Taking the bus. He sizes you, them up. He's imagine deep. being on a private plane when you're a kid, you feel like you got a little more jump than the other team, right? But hey. Nice bus, boys. We just came in on. See that G four? Yeah, yeah we got you. Game. We got you guys. These, right. these kids are jumping in a van down by the river. <laughs> down by the river. And we're going to town. But um, no, listen, we're in for a treat. We got Dustin Lynch playing music on the Friday night. Uh, there'll be an auction and stuff. So it's a full, you know, be a full ceremony. Guys, wives, be a good looking crew, as you said. Um, and then you know, skate with the kids. All the alumni is going to be part of this. It's going to be a great time. I guess Lundquist is putting on the pads too. So, dude, maybe I'll get one on. I could never get one on. Well, you're going to have to because he's our goalie. We're going to take you guys. Down. We got Ben Scrivens. I guess did he play for the Avs? No. Yeah, he did. Did he? Scrivens. Yeah, he's on our list. Our Avs team. We're, we're listen. We're. Uh, I'm not not me. No, don't put me in this. But my boys like Quincy Lyles, Hey Duke, uh, all these guys, Army. They've been skiing together, so they're going to have some chemistry. So advantage Avs yeah, alumni for I chemistry. Know. I got loophole going down the right side. Yeah, I can't wait to cross check loops. Um, and listen, no bucket. We need a ten minute warm up. Have you told Sheldon we got at least ten minute warm up? We got to go no bucket for a bit, or Good I'm too. not playing. We're going no bucket for a bit, right? Yeah, or we're not no bucket. Yeah. Or should you go Jimmy Dowd style? Go no bucket the whole game. Short sure pass. You you can't with this guy out there. This guy is good. You're like if you high stick me, I am gonna lose it on you, but. Um, yeah, Oppy, Sheldon's a beauty. It's a great cause. We're looking forward to it. Max and A-Hall, the Hall Pass team's coming up. So, Fella Tour. Fella Tour. By the way, this is Fella Tour written all over it. And bring some, some booze. Oh, yeah. It's nice. Doing a bit of boozing, have you? Um, last but not least here, before we take our break, it is health we, It is health month. Uh, obviously, it's November as well, but health month's here. Our boys at Life Force. I got to get my blood drawn. I'm doing it this month. Life Force, promo code curfew for a 20% off your blood draw, I believe. Listen, now's the time. November's around the corner. The new year's approaching. Christmas time. We're going to be eating a lot, but what better time, Obi, than at, at at our age? A lot of listeners out there are close to us, 40s, 40. getting in their 50s. Yeah. Even for you guys in your 30s, it comes quick. But listen, a free blood draw, uh, monitor all those 80 biomarkers. Um, you know, if there's one thing that you can do to prevent, you know, so something bad happening. It's it's this at least to do is is monitor your blood. Yeah. See if anything spikes up. You can you know you get to talk with one of their um, one of their doctors after your lab results come in. Uh, come right they, to your house, boys. Come, come right, right to, to your house. house. You can be having your morning coffee or whatever. Throw on ESPN or sports set back home for the lads. They come right in. Booyah, bingo, bango, bongo, gone. Next what two weeks? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, results w within a week. You you have a, a chat with one of their doctors. But listen, a lot of the things that we run into as we get older and the health, you know, issues that that we face um, can be prevented with, you know, just getting regularly checked. So with this membership, uh, it's $130 a month. It gives you four blood draws a year, uh, four different uh, interviews with your own doctor. Uh, they put you on nutraceuticals and, and you know, if for, for men, and by the way, you know, testosterone replacement therapy. It's, it's a real thing. As we get older, like our testosterone drops and you're not going to just be shooting up like steroids and stuff. This is this is testosterone replacement to get that edge that you need. Get that to have that clarity to make you feel like you should as, you know, at 40, we, we still should be rocking. So you can still walk around the gesture with a towel on it. Yeah. Yeah. Takes a rope to make that walk. <laughs> How are we doing, boys? Yeah. Another great thing about this app is when you do get your results, you can sit around with your buddies like me, you, and Mac Eldon and go through your results and be like, hey, boys, how's your... Uh, remember totally. the one thing we That's saw about... good to do. I'm like, Mac Eldon, you and Ups are both in the red zone here with that thing, but 
in all seriousness, we did talk to an, a doctor in Aspen, and, and he loved Life Force, and he did say there was four things, and one of them was you get your blood work done, like you Regular. said, quarterly. Yeah. You, it, it, it's important, fellas. So get out there, check it out, promo code. Curfew, and November is Men's Health Awareness. Fellas, Let's do it. We will be right back. Welcome back to Mr. Curfew. Up his world. Party time. Oh, Excellent. Oh, oh. <laughs> Up his world. Uh, one of my favorite segments, staple here at Mr. Curfew. Um, what is going on at Up His World? Party time. Ah, well, you know, I made a big trade today. Big trade in fantasy football with my boy Kevin Shattenkirk. And what better way to celebrate my man playing 900 NHL matches than having a, having a complete little deal-making time in fantasy football. But no, in all seriousness, shout out Kevin Shattenkirk, our boy Shatty. Uh, 900 matches, Colorado, St. Louis, Little stint and cup of coffee and wash. New York Rangers, Tampa Bay, Anaheim, and now Boston Bruins. I mean, he's got seven squads. He's he's tied us for, for for well, not he's got got us beat in points probably, and then uh, points he's definitely got me together. He's yeah. Definitely got me beat points. No, but let's might have the penalty minutes, but that'd be about it. Yeah, no. Sh- shout out to to his family. Um, you know, nine hundred matches, one Stanley Cup. You know, glue just guy. a g- glue guy glue to guy. the max. Looks good too. Uh, wearing number 12 for the Boston Bruins. Um, Snapping their own work on the power play on the second unit. Steady Eddie. makes You know what I like about Shaddy's game? And it's, it's always been this. Makes a good first pass. Yeah. Tape to tape. Crispy Rice. Boom, boom, boom. Um, 900 games. Keep it going. Let's see him, you know. Let's see him get 100. Totally. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. He's in a great spot. Great McAvoy's spot. McAvoy's been out. He's been starting. He's been that quarterback, the power play, just what they need. Uh, but like you said, I think uh, Montgomery loves him there. I think he's a great addition to their room. When you lose a guy like Bergeron, but you add a guy like Shaddy, that's a wash for me. Well said. And yeah, Shaddy, congratulations, 900. Keep it going. Um, I want to take this time in Uppy's world to, uh, you know, I mean, Uppy's come a long way together. We, 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 we met each other when we were 24, 25 years old. You know, we were supposed to go to the Ducks game. And, uh, you know, he said, I have to go to my wife's sister's birthday party. Is it okay if I don't come? Now the person, like the, you know, the kid that I I grew up knowing, I, I first of all I was like, yeah, there's a problem with that. But then I was like, nah, you got you got to do the right thing. So listen, I I, I wanted to, I, I'm, totally. I'm learning to adapt here with you too. Of course, of course. Happy birthday, to, Nancy. Thirtieth birthday. Adapt. Yeah, I'm learning to adapt. It was her thirtieth. Had it been like her thirty first oh, or thirty? Wow, that's a big one. Yeah, it's a big you know, one. support the cause. I got the kids there too. Sunday family day, you know. Yeah, I missed you at the game. Hey, listen, Ducks. We're gonna get into Ducks, but that Impact Club. If you're looking to go down there and have a good time, it's fun. All at booze, great food, dessert. Uh, the boys come out that way. It's a fun little club. Yeah, so nice. shout out to Loomis. It was fun. So yeah. uh, missed you though. I missed you there. Buddy. I missed you too. Missed you there. Buddy. Good picture you and Tom Doherty there. Up his world. Party, party time. time. Excellent. Not so much partying. Well, hey, that's not so much partying. It's just being a good, responsible adult. Eh? Yeah, just a good, coming. good parent, good guy, good family guy about Scotty Upshaw. Hey, everyone out there, he's just a good family guy. Thanks, Hobbs. Yeah. Um, arr, up arr, 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 arr. Dog of the week. Uppy's dog of the week. I got one myself, but you lead it off. You came up with this little segment, and I know this is a guy. Man, you called uh, it. I didn't even have to. By the way, as the game unfolded, oh. Mr. Sam Gagne, welcome back to the NHL, fella. Listen, I know you're in a – the Oilers are a little bit of a funk. Not a little bit of a funk. They are in a funk. But Sam Gagne was a spark of excitement. A spark of fire that they needed. Came back two quick goals in the third period to come back within one um, in his first NHL game back. I think it was like, you know, I think he's had three stints with the Oilers. Yeah, he has. And his last goal was like three and a half years ago. Four, but his first goal with the Oilers was like 14, 15 years ago. Yeah. So congrats to this well, guy. Never, I mean, by the way, I just think it's great. Like a guy who, again, this is why the dog, this is why we have the arr, dog of the week. Arr. PTOs. Someone doubting you, someone telling you you're not, you well, whatever, you're not good enough. Hang around, keep skating. You gotta just you gotta keep the legs moving. You don't take no for an answer. No, okay? you don't take no for an answer. No, and listen, you're right. You called it. You said he was gonna make the team. What I respect is he didn't make the team out of camp. Went down to Bakersfield. I don't know if anyone's ever been there. It's not the most glamorous place, nor is Edmonton. But um, went down there, lit it up, got called back up. Exactly what you said in this little up dogs dog of the week. Yeah, you, you got to give him credit. I mean. Didn't he get like nine points back in the day for the Oilers? Doesn't he have the record? He's got the record. I think he got, it. he got eight points in the game. Yeah, that's crazy. He looks good, man. He goes to the net. He went to the net the other night, last night against the Canucks. Um, he's the least of the Oilers' worries, which we will get into. But uh, Sam Gagne, up dogs. Arr, arr, 
dog of the week. I'm going back out to the desert for mine. I love these Arizona Coyotes, man. I love them all. I got to get to Mullet here sooner than later. Shout out to uh, Schmaltzy there. Yeah. Uh, he's a beauty. Him and uh, the Heat Daddy. Him and Heat Daddy are doing. Great I followed things. them last night during that Oilers game. It's pretty. They're wild beauties, stuff. man. We got to get. We got to start doing some stuff with those guys. But uh, my dog of the week is uh, Lawson Krause. Uh, was not a PTO or anything like that, but it's a guy that has fought his way up. Uh, four goals, seven points in ten games. I love how big he is. I love how hard he plays. Now he's getting rewarded with some, you know, PP time and some playing up the lineup. So Lawson Krause, oh, you're my dog of the week. I, I love the Coyotes up dog. I'm not yeah, they look like they're having fun out there. Yeah. They move the puck around well. Their power plays working. They're, they they got some great puck moving D. Um, Muller Lorena, a tough place to go in and play. Good place to go in and get drunk though. We got to go in there and get drunk. Fella Waste tour. management. Fella Fella dollar tour, baby. Uh, she's milk carton time here at Missing Curfew Up Dog. I'm gonna I'm gonna start off here. I got a few milk cartons here. I got a few milk. The old crusty defenseman's got a few milk cartons. First of all, Barkley Goudreau, love you. You played unbelievable. Won a Stanley Cup with Tampa or two, I think. John Cooper loves you. We love you. I didn't love you the other night. Other night I had a puck line. <laughs> I had a puck line on the on the New York Rangers little puck line. I think it was plus. It was a good one. Plus two hundred or something. How are you gonna stay away from those puck lines? You know what? I put it in wrong. Okay. So I took I took the Rangers. I was trying to take I was trying to take Carolina puck line getting a goal and a half. Or whatever. I screwed it up either way. But anyways, I ended up taking the Rangers both ways and they won the game, but Barkley Goudreau missed a fight like Lily Uppy from me to Max away. Empty netter hit the side of the net. Gotta throw you on the milk carton for that. Uh and then the Leafs, Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, now listen, people on social media said they have two or three goal songs, which right away, come on, pick one. But you cannot steal the Colorado Avalanche's goal song. They won the Stanley Cup two years ago. They're an absolute machine. They had the goal song. I turned on the Leafs the last couple of games. They stole it. So for that, I am putting the I am putting the Toronto Maple Leafs on the milk carton. Be original. Get your own goal song. Come on, man. That's it's embarrassing. Yeah, Obi. Yeah, come on. Well done. Yeah. I got one more, but you go. I got, you know what? The other night I'm watching, and Buffalo for me just has not been... A little disappointing. They've cost me a couple parlays, four teamers. <laughs> it always comes down to that. I, I'm well, yeah, them. because they're early games, and I usually bet them, and it's the only game I miss. Anyway, that aside, Tage Thompson, he really stuck it to me last year. By the way, I played with this. I, I've said this numerous times in the podcast. I played with him in St. Louis. Yeah. Great young skill, big, you know, was hard on puck. Last year, he shoved it to me. I, I bet under 32, 33 goals. Nobody saw that coming. He just goes to town. This year, I'm expecting the same. You can't do it with those skates on. <laughs> I, I don't like the CCM skate with the blue flash. To me, it's it's not right. I'd rather you go white Nikes with Fedorov style. Yeah. Back in the, that blue is just not the 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 line. It doesn't look good. He doesn't look like the same player to me as like he did that. last year. I like that. Looks good. Play good play. Good. Some nice good play. Yeah. When you're in the NHL, set of Bowers, there should be no reason your skates don't look good. Like you can design them yourself, especially like, if you're like Tage Thompson. Pedersons look great. Pedersen looks great. Jack Hughes, Hughes looks skates. great. Yeah, Pedersen Matthews. Looks Pedersen, Pedersen good. to me looks like a man now. Like I saw an interview, I, an interview with him and Quinn Hughes in the uh, first and second intermission yesterday, and he, like he's got a beard now and his shoulders, you know, his chest. I'm like, wow, this kid's no longer this little skinny Swede. This kid's legit, legit. So I'm putting those skates in the milk. I love it. Fire him up there. I don't like that. No, you gotta have good style. Uh, last one for me. Well, actually, we got two more here. We're, we're, we're getting real crusty here. We got two more. Everyone knows this, but the San Jose Sharks are on the milk carton. Of course. Listen, I get it. I've been on bad teams. And, you know, I had David Quinn as a coach. And Quinn is, you know, we didn't see eye to eye. I'm sure he's a good guy. I, even I don't wish this on David Quinn, but you, you can't give up 10 back to back. Like, listen. This I, is I milk carton. I'm not, I'm this not, poor milk all yeah, over. Yeah, I don't expect you to, you know, to win – that game, but like to give up 10 back to back, like Pittsburgh's a good team. I get it or a veteran team. To me, you got to look yourself in the mirror up dog. And, and those guys in that dressing room, nobody's going to help you guys, but you guys in there and listen, what are we at game 11 for them? You know, 70 plus games here to go boys. It ain't yeah. going to get any easier. So dig in, have some pride. Think about Joe Thornton and Patrick Marlowe and Dan Boyle and Dan Healy and that, that, that era. Cheat you. Cheat you. <laughs> oh boy. Cheat yeah. you. Uh, Brett Hedekin. Who else are we missing? Uh, Scott Parker, like I was a killer. Yeah, he was. Um, Stewart. Doug Murray, who at first time Dougie I thought, Murray. I thought oh he was from God. Western Canada. He's from Sweden. Guy beat me up. By Come the way, on, that man. kid's gotta, still playing. You got Doug Murray? No, no. Um, uh, Vlasic. Yeah. What, what is he doing, by the way? He's got three more years left on his deal. Good agent. 
Yeah, but still, if you're in this situation, are you? You don't want to come to the rink. Like he's played probably 1,100 games. He's made 90 million dollars. He's blocked 3,000 pucks yeah. too. I mean, they just they just got to find a way to. You got to be more competitive than that. Pride is the best word. Pride. How do you not show up to the rink, um, and just through pride alone, not lose in nine in a row? Just through pride alone. Well, you, just just someone make a just someone make a couple good plays like PK stops some power plays goalie makes some saves and we're gonna win one. Listen, I I've I've been on bad teams, but to give up ten back to back, yeah, it's come bad. on, man. It's bad. Like, come on. And and listen, the Canucks are playing well. Pittsburgh's not in the playoff spot right now. They're they're an aging team, but like, even if you lose that game four two, right? To to, to give up ten back to back to me is. Yeah. I don't know. Poor Mike Greer. We'll can see. I put one on the you milk carton just because I wanted to give the little bump? You can bump. put whoever you want. No, no. You know I'm a Seattle Kraken guy. Yeah. I'm a Seattle Kraken guy. You do. Go and I like this kid. I interviewed him at the NHL Awards in Nashville. But Matty Beneers, he's got no goals and four assists in 12 games. This is a little curfew, little slide here. For yeah. The, kid. the milk the milk carton bump. It, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So listen, Matty, you're on the you're on the milk carton. Get Schwartzy to maybe take you out for dinner. And you get your to take you out for dinner. I would glass say, of wine. I would say go get fuck. Yeah, go get hammered. Nah, it doesn't need to be hammered. Oh, no, good just buzz. To, get home, get, get home about eleven thirty. No, National League Walk dinner. In the room. Bottle of wine. Go to sleep. I feel good. And just go to the rink and do your thing. Kids nasty. Put the puck on the net. Totally. I was worried about the crack today because I, I I'm still mad about what they did to me against the Avalanche last year. But when they led the league in five on five goals last year, I thought, can they do that again? Right. And and it's early. It's early. Um. But we'll see what happens. But they need to get that kid going big time up, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and six is not good enough. Do we want to talk Oilers? Jack Campbell on waivers? Yeah. I mean, both goalies for Edmonton. All, all the D. <laughs> all the D, both goalies, and <laughs> nine out of the 12 forwards. I, We're yeah. all in the milk curtain. I wanted to say this. And, and, like, I love JT Miller. I love his game. And for those people in Vancouver that were complaining about Borau about leaving and giving JT G- G- T- Miller that, that big contract, what are you saying now? He's playing McDavid hard. I love it. I love it. But how JT Miller got out of that game without either Vander Kane, Warren Fogle, um, Nurse. Nay, Nurse, got to grab him. Ekholm. Got to grab him. Got to grab him. A lot him. of big guys in Edmonton's lineup. Yeah, and, and not even if you – I'm not saying, you know, go buckets off and square off at center ice if you don't want to, But you, you can't let that guy leave the game. When you see as frustrated as Connor McDavid and Dreisaitl are, and you let this guy leave the game without nothing happened to him, I'm sure even Rick Tockett was on the bench going, Jeez, I can't believe I'm going to do anything to Miller. Of course. Like that hit that he put on McDavid in front of the net, we talked about it before. Great yeah. hit. Great hit. But, but to the best is... player in the world, you got to be ready for repercussion after that. Yeah, and to me, you know, I don't know Jay Woodcroft. I would say that he's got his phone on silent. You know, he's yeah. he's expecting a call here, but something's got to change up. So, I mean, they are they were odds on. They were one of the favorites to win the Stanley Cup. They're 2-8-1. I'll it's... tell you what. I've been in situations, not, not having the two best players in the world or being, you know, on, on such a basically a platform for people to just look at but mm. how quiet was that flight home last night yeah they're going to san jose they're flying to san jose that is a that, that yeah okay so they did fly to san jose hopefully hopefully they'd make them go back to edmonton because when did they play thursday no they, yeah, they would they would have stayed the night maybe flew down after the game well if they stayed the night i hope they went to the roxy and got just as hammered as they could in the back office monday night of the roxy was a pretty good you just industry text, night yeah, yeah. Industry night, you text the owner say hey yeah we, we're two eight and one we're coming in. Connor's coming. coming. We need security in the back. Don't let anyone in. Or just let's get hammered. Totally. If they did stay there. Lock the doors. That, when you're 2 8 and 1, you're like, boys, let's go have a few because this ain't working. Yeah. I think in Philly, we start off 1 and 8. You know what? I, I got. Let me give some love to Zach yeah. Hyman, actually. Zach yeah. Hyman did grab JT Miller when it first happened. Yes, he did. So I apologize to Zach. I just thought after that, when when Miller hit him again. Yep. That I, I don't know. I just thought you, someone's got to go up to him. No, you're right. You're right. Zach Hyman did grab him. Yeah. But it's not just up to Zach Hyman. It no. Does. It's like the, the, it, it's the whole way down the lineup. Yeah. And this is a time where guys step up. You think Connor McDavid will always remember the guy who steps up, puts his body on the line for him and for his team in moments like this? Totally. None of these guys are set. Like all these younger guys that they have, they're not, they don't have the career like trajectory that they, that they think they're going to have without, you know, without making a statement like that. No, I know. I just want. I'm just trying to pull up their stats right here. Up, give me one second here. It says what it was. What do you want to know? I got them right here. I want to know how many of them don't have a goal. Okay, here we go. Ready? 
Ryan McLeod could have grabbed him. Derek Ryan, he's too small to grab him. Yeah. Um, and he broke his nose for a shift of the game. <laughs> yeah. D- Dylan Holloway, another guy. I mean, he doesn't have a goal. I, I, it's just like, come on, boys. Like, but when I look at this lineup, obviously Kane, maybe he's frustrated. Warren Fogel, kid who's playing hard. Nurse, at home, guys you said. I, listen, McDavid and Drysaddle were the two guys that were the most pissed off out there. Yeah. And they're, they're they're not the reason they're here. Like, it's just like, I don't know, good on Hyman. I don't know, ups, it's crazy. Um, I, I don't know how this is, how they're going to turn this around. We'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, that was the milk carton here at Missing Curfew. Let's get back to some more positive stuff. Eh? Let's get this guy a beer up, dog. Yeah. Some guys that are enjoying the National League because it can be a great league when you're winning. And boy, it can suck when you're losing like Edmonton. But um, first of all, shout out to our boy, Matt Chapman. Gold Glove winner, fourth time. Chappy! Chappy, baby. Get you, get this guy a beer. Go out there and vote for him. For the It's called the Platinum Glove. The Ra- Rawlings Platinum Glove. So they take all these gold glovers and they give one a platinum. He, and he's already won two. He's won two platinums? He's won two platinums. Matt Chapman, go for his third platinum. Wow. So get out there and vote for Chappie. That a baby. Um, listen, I'm going to go Jack Geichel, get this guy a beer. We all know what Ikes went through, you know, in Buffalo and, and coming back and how he played in the playoffs. And and he just, to me, looks even healthier. He's got the confidence of a Stanley Cup winning team. But he, I'm going to say right now, to me, from what I've watched, he is the best 200-foot center in the NHL right now. The way he's playing defensively. I mean, the goal he scored the other night against the Ducks Ooh. was short side spinning. Uh, power play, penalty kill, face-offs, D-zone. Um, I don't know if I had to pick one centerman right now. Obviously, McDavid, Matthews, McKinnon. Love all those guys, especially McKinnon. I'm saying Jack Eichel's the best 200-foot player right now. Is he, Get this guy a beer. Is he Hart Trophy uh, candidate? Is, is got, he having a year like that? 14 points in 13 games. But it's what he's doing away from the puck. and I'm going to say I'm going to more throw him in there for the Selkie yeah. right now. Oh, yeah, Like If point. I thought like, he had my vote for the Selkie. Good right point. Um, listen. Yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, Rick Talkett and what he's doing up in Vancouver. Talks. Talks. Get yourself a beer. You got the boys playing way, well, but Ilias Pedersen, a guy, Obi, that, you know, we, we were, we questioned him last year. We questioned I did, I have, his work ethic, yeah. a little bit of his, his I never, never, comp- the skill, never, ever. No. The guy's got, guy's got a wicked shot, comes in, super creative. He's great carrying the puck up the ice, but what he's been doing now, that power play they have with JT Miller, Quinn Hughes. They are just moving the biscuit around. Besser, another shout-out. Get this guy a beer, too. Besser's yeah, playing man. in front of the net. That's where you got to go to score exactly. goals, by the way. You want to score goals? Stand in front of the net. Exactly. Besser. I've been hard on him. Too, Patterson, right. Miller, Quinton Hughes, the Vancouver Canucks power play, the coach. Get yourselves a beer. Yeah. And Tox is a good guy. He's probably got some beers on ice for those yeah. guys. You think Adam Foote and uh, Sergey Goncher? Oh, crush him. I mean, that coach's office there is a three good I, I don't know how big of a boozer Tox is, but I, I know, I'm pretty sure. Beer I'm pretty, yeah. Those are three. Get Labatt to send him a beer fridge. Those are three veteran guys that Absolutely. I'm sure they're having some cold ones. And listen, they, they're, I think they're going to keep this up. And, and once the, the rain stops in Vancouver, we're going up. They want to do a show at the Roxy with us. We're going to go up there and do a show. Yeah, let's do it. And then we will be the drunkest guys in Vancouver that night. <laughs> but uh, uh, shout out. Remember Craig Johnson, our boy Craig Johnson? Of course. Ski with them, play for the Ducks, play for the Kings. His son, Ryan Johnson, who makes this going to make you feel old, Uppy. When, yes. no, when I had no contract, we're trying to go to Europe, I went out and skated with their team. They were peewees. I don't know if you can call them peewees anymore, but they were peewees. Uh, this kid had lots of talent. Got his first NHL point for the Buffalo Sabres. So Ryan Johnson, Craig Johnson, get that guy a beer. And then last but not least, and I want to parlay this right into the Anaheim Ducks, is Mason McTavish. Get this guy a beer. Picked him for the Calder last year, up dog. Came up a little short for me. But you want to talk about old pro, man. Gamer. Gamer. Love this kid. Listen, I went and watched the Ducks play, like I said. Good compete. Um, you got to give it to their their head coach. Uh, how do you say his last name? Cronin. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great good Cronin. Southie guy. Yep. Got him competing. Killer back in the lineup. Uh, he's going to be our Friday guest this this week on Fella Fridays. He played great for his first game back. Betrano is playing with a little bit of piss and vinegar. Stromer looks better. And you know what? I got to give Brian Getzler some credit about Troy Terry. I I I didn't know if he was the guy. Uh, up dog his release yeah, man he's yeah, nasty beautiful. he's nasty great overtime goal the other night yeah and then last but not least I just wanted to pat Verbeek because we've questioned him on here before the Gudis and Lubushkin pickups look unbelievable just hard guys to play against right handed shots I'm starting to believe ups yeah Lubushkin Lubushkin Seven a year Gudis oh man I hated playing against that guy but he's he's also yeah. just he's the right guy you gotta pick up when you wanna change like the kind of the way you guys play yeah I, I told you I saw him at Getty's golf tournament right <laughs> 
and he knows that you hate him. Oh, like, man. I go, if I go, are you playing the golf tournament? He goes, no, I'm not playing. I go, if you were playing, I'd have you on the tee box ahead of up because you know those tournaments, you're always there. Put you on the same tee box as if <laughs> you guys would hash it out before the end of the round. I'm sure, you'd hash it out of the I'm other sure round. We'd have I want to kill him too. Oh, that's man. why you take him on your team. Yeah. Dang, he's crushed me too many times. Yeah. And I got to be like, you know, if, if we're talking about all the good, I mean, and listen, Z missed training camp. Uh, training camp's important. If you ask Zegris right now, I'm sure he's missing training camp. But if I had advice to him while you're getting back into shape, is just simplify. Throw pucks in that. Play in straight lines. Because the rest of his team, shout out to Sam Carrick. He's playing unbelievable too. Uh, they're just putting pucks in that. So watching the other night, I'm pulling for Z. I think I think he's a good kid. But if I was, I'm sure the Ducks coach stuff to just get pucks in that. Until yeah. you get your legs back and get going. Well, plus it's what what they did last year, and and you know we look at Trevor Zegers and the points he got last year. This is a different team. Yeah. This is a different makeup of the team. Mm-hmm. Mason Matavish has proven that he's he's a gamer and that he plays hard, plays in the right areas. He's tough to get on pucks. That was not what they had last year. So now it's like, all right, this is a little shuffle of the lineup and it's working. So a guy like Trevor Zegers, you got to, you know, missing training camp is one thing, but yeah. now you got to find a way to, okay, like I, the East West stuff, this Doesn't isn't work. the way this team plays. No. We play now heads up, you know, that goes for it. No, that, 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 and that's, that's the best way to say it. When I watched them play, everybody else was playing this way and yeah. Z was still trying to play that way. And I get it, it's got to be hard for him. He's played that way his whole life where yeah. he can do whatever he wants. But you know what? You you changed your role throughout your career from a first rounder to to a PP guy to a PK guy to a depth. Like he's just going to change his game a little bit. Put pucks in net, play in straight lines. Watch guys like Killer. Yeah. You know, watch Sam Carrick play. Watch these guys that are competing. And I think Z has it in them. It's going to be hard, but you're right. They're yeah. playing North South hockey, of course. So yeah, yeah. it's good for the Ducks. We got to get you. To, we got to get to a game here if they keep it up. The old Spider Van fellow tour supreme. How about it? we're going to do a show? Uh, a little injury report. First of all, you know. Think of our boy, Freddie Anderson. We've both known Freddie for a long time. He's got a blood clot. I mean, I just hope he's going to be okay. Obviously, we want to see him back. But, Freddie, we're thinking about him. And then your boy, this one sucks, Jack Hughes. Hope week he's to a, week. Week to week. I don't know what it is, his shoulder or his head or something. He went in the ah, board's he heart. Went in, hard. in St. Louis, too, like on a breakaway. You never want to see that happen. Yeah, little toe pick. He skates so fast. I mean, when we used to see McDavid, McDavid – Broke his collarbone and broke his leg going to the net, the Mach 3. Yeah. So these kids that go to the net hard, like, you hate to see it, but one little slip up, man, the boards, they stand they stand tall and firm. Yeah, when I watched that one, I, I saw it on the replay, and I, like, you know, as an ex-player, you're like, oh, yeah, oh. I just, gee, he's going to come back. Right. He's having a great year. Oh, no one's going to slow him down. Man. When he's back and he's doing his thing, I think Marty Broder said it best. It's like watching someone's controlling him with a joystick. Yeah. It's insane. That is it. It, it, it. It's a video game. Yeah, it's a video yeah. game for him. Yeah. Um, but, man, I just love what these brothers are all about. Quinn Hughes is my favorite. I mean, okay, let's talk about Quinn, Quinn Hughes. Quinn Hughes, the way he's playing. I right iso can. He's so time. sick. He passes the puck better than anyone right now in the NHL. Crispy. And it is it's hard as a pass as anyone. But he, not only is he a guy that passes the puck hard, he can receive a hard pass, too. I want, Like, it's. This is how these right. guys are made up, right? It's so true, but I can't, hey, can't give a good player a bad pass, right? Perhaps. Can't give a good player a bad pass. Kids, pass the puck hard. Hard. On the tape. Chris Pronger told me that. Yeah. I passed. You passed. That's, that's one thing I loved about your game, too, especially skating with you in the summertime. Flax off. Touches, you know, but lots of touches. Lots of touches. Crispy. <laughs> loved it. Hell yeah. Uh, talking about injuries, let's just touch on this real quick. Uh, Marchant on, Lill- on Lilligrand. What would you think? Depends how you look at the angle of it. I thought uh, it's two guys going in for a puck stick. Yeah, I don't think he was going to purposely hit out his back foot or slew foot. You're kind of going in. You're going in. I'm going in. I mean, it's just like it's like a ra- it's like you know, it's a hard Richard has a rap sh- rap sheet, right? Yeah, that's it's like us. But halfway through our career, if we were if we were late for something or we said we weren't feeling well, they thought automatically that yeah, we were boosted. guilty by social. Yeah. Now, I could have just been sick, right? I'm a human being. I could just be sick. But in the back of everyone's mind, Obes was pinned. Now, granted, I reserve, I earned that resume or rap sheet. Marshawn has earned the fact that if this happens. Yeah. But, man, they're just going into battle. His stick style. I, I think I got to give, I got to be on Marshawn's side on this one. I don't think he was. Really- I don't think you know. And I, I watched, um, you know, shout out Hockey Night in Canada. I watched the boys talk about it. I watched Biz. I watched Elliot Friedman. I watched. Uh, you know, Ron McClain, and they all had their takes. Biz say about sniffing and coming out of style. I mean, <laughs> this is, but, it, but it depends how you, I think it was Botterill, Jen Botterill or someone. Yeah. Uh, but they all kind of had their take, and depends which camera angle you look at is really the angle of, 
either he looked like he was can opening or the stick just got pushed in there and unfortunately you know he loses his balance and i've had high ankle sprains i've ryan Suter actually took my he took my high ankles so, the worst, that, right? that that was a suspension in the making right there but anyway when you hit the boards with your feet like that odds are it's it's terrible not good um but i don't think i don't think it was purpose i, I mean i know marshawn has had the most money find in the nhl basically over the course of his yeah, yeah yeah repeat offender but i think he's i think he's a little bit over that so yeah. not so much into licking guys anymore <laughs> yeah. after covid he couldn't lick anyone anymore <laughs> um Bruins are flying. Listen, Bruins are good. You know, you hear Rebo talking about it too. Like Ryan Reeves, Brad Marchand's not going to fight Ryan Reeves. No. Now Rebo could have went out and jumped him, but Rebo's not that guy really either, right? Like Rebo, Rebo will fight anyone who wants to fight him, but he's not going to go out there and jump somebody. Like if it when it happened, whoever was on the ice, they should have went in there and maybe grabbed him right away, just because it is Marchand. But like, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I know. I don't know what you do. Like it's just, I think there has to be a reaction of some sort, but I don't think you put it on Ryan Reeves. Right, oh. you put it on. I don't know. Do yeah, you put the James, the game's going to change. Like that, go right? and grab him. Why doesn't Tavares go out and grab him? Yeah, he's a big, strong boy. Totally, go grab him. You're the captain of this team. It can't be Ryan Reeves. Reeves trying to do his part with his limited role. If you think there's something wrong with that, Tavares go out and grab him. Now, and all you got to do is grab him. Just grab him or cross check him, him, slash him. I mean, yeah, yeah. Or more, I love Morgan Riley. Morgan Riley got in a fight last year in the playoffs. Maybe Morgan Riley goes out and grabs. Him. But to me, it's their captain, Brad Marchant. I'm putting it on John. Tavares. Was Gio in the game? Gio Daniels. Gio, Gio is a tough guy. Gio is tough. Yeah. Gio is working hard out there, man. He is. <laughs> he got, I mean, that guy. He. I played with him for a cup of coffee in Calgary. Great guy. Good guy when you give him a little push to have a couple too. But hard, hard worker. But you can see how hard it is for him. Like he's working his balls off out there. And you got to respect it. He's still playing good, but it's hard for him to get the pucks. Like I'm watching him on the coach. I'm like, geez, that's got to be pain. That's got to be tiring. I'm getting the edge to play some hockey. You? No. No, it's not really. But I gotta, I gotta play a game in. Uh, I'm playing in Aspen. Yeah, I know. But let's let's get out there. No, snap it around. Well, but all this talk about good passes. Where are you gonna go? Ice oh, spicy sir. I got some sticks for you. I know, but I want. What are you talking about? You got yeah. a stick right there. No, that one's. Yeah, that... I have your stick back there. No, I, no, I need a fresh stick if I'm going out there. That one's. Nah, come on, there's dust on that. Nah, okay, yeah, exactly. you're not getting that one. It's signed. That's, yeah, yeah, that's to me. This painting one, was a gift, Greg. Todd, Todd the painting, painting was a gift. <laughs> I'm taking the I'm taking the painting with me, Todd. The painting was a gift, and the best is like. He goes, to Todd's like, well, well, what's Vince Vaughn's character name? Is that? Oh, man. What's his name? And Todd's like, uh, he tried to, he tried to, he tried to, he came on to me. And then Owen Wilson's character's like, you did? <laughs> you did? I, I watched that movie on the plane. It's a big classic. Oh, yeah. Classic. So, I, I don't know. I, I think if it's a captain, maybe it's a captain. But I think Rebo's doing his thing up there. I just, I mean, Brad Marshall's not going to fight Rebo. No. Why would he? No, the game's changed. You can't, you can't do that. Yeah. Last but not least, around the National League up dog. Shout out to our boy Kevin Hayes. Got his first two point to the sky. Love it. Still point up to his boy Broadway. Uh, your Blues are getting it going a little bit. You asked what Joe Thornton is doing. He just got his jersey retired by the Sioux City Grounds, and Jumbo had this red suit on that looked so sick. So sick. But he's going to, I know you're a big Spangler Cup guy. He's going to be part of the front office. For the Spangy Cup team. Oh, for the yeah, for Team Canada. Team Canada. Good for him. Spang. That's a good way to break. I know in you the like the Spang. Canada. Yeah, yeah. The Spangy. That was a good way to go down. Shout out to Alexander Barkov for passing Jonathan Huberto for most games played as a Florida Panther. Barky, I was there when you played your first one, bud. You were on. Awesome. Hell of a job. Hell of a player. Hell of a leader. Hell of a player. Six hundred and seventy two matches surpassed Jonathan Huberto. It was uh, it was quite the thing. What did you think? Uh, were you on the right side or wrong side of the game last Saturday? The Golden Knights Avalanche. Oh, I was on the wrong side of her. That was a statement. I mean, I don't know. Statement. Man, game. You know, tough, what? tough like, game. I mean, as much as I love, yeah, that they made Vegas made the Avalanche look really, really average, and that's hard to do. Yeah. Now the Avs were in there for four days before the game. Now they had their mums there, but my mum's not going to keep me from going to. Spearman Rhino, at, you know, when she goes to bed at 10, you know, so I'm thinking if I was there for four nights. Let me ask you this. They looked like they might have been out there mixing it, which if, if they were, it's going to help them in the second half of the season because they were having team building. Do the mothers get the invite back? Lose seven cop. I mean, you you the, the, the mothers always get the invite, but it's just not going to be to Vegas, right? You take your moms to like when you play the Sharks and you go to Napa for a couple of days. Like that's what they should have done. Right, yeah. come in. Sharks stink. Hundred percent. Let's go to Napa. Bring them down. Play the Ducks. Take them to Laguna. You don't take them to Vegas. I agree. 
but they looked like they might have been enjoying the finer things of of the. Uh, they were there for three or four nights. Kiefer flew in for it. Kiefer doesn't even go on the road. He was at the Sphere, and you two, him and him and Rycroft, getting pinned watching the show. They just looked like they might have been having a good time in Vegas, and I, and I'm never yeah, going to let it out once that. a year, you know. But Uppy, when I when I look at their team, uh, and listen, I don't know. Jonathan Duran's not working out right now. To the Tartar. I mean, they, they still miss Landy, man. They miss Landis Cog. Like, when I look at them, I don't know if they can win without Landy. A cup. I don't think they can. I don't know, man. I, this is like a new, I this mean, is a new Shane O'Brien. I haven't heard this. No, I listen. Last I, week, you were like, guns a blazing. You I still bet on him every oh, night. Oh, I still bet on him every night. I'm going to bet him every game the whole year. Yeah. I love their team. I just, I love Landy. You don't think they can get by Vegas after that game if, without Landy? I don't think they can win a cup without Landy. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just proven that the that Vegas D and the way that they can score. You got Ikes, you got Stone, you got Marsha Show. They, these guys, they they can score, right? So yeah, and they don't even have in a White seven Cloud. game series with that goalie Aiden Hill. They don't have White Cloud yeah. or Hag playing right now. Yeah, I know it's crazy. Now I don't know Jonathan Drew. To I don't know Jonathan Drew, and I know he's gone through a lot off the ice. And I know him and Nate are boys from junior, so I respect Nate being like bring him in, and, and maybe it will pan out. But if Landy can't come back, then at the deadline. You know, Joe and the McFarland, the GM, they they got to address something. They, they they're missing one more piece on a on a top two line. I love their third line. I love their fourth line. So I love Patty their third Kane, line. Eight hundred grand. That'd be sick. Is he the right guy though? He's not Landy. They play completely no, opposite games. Yeah. So do you want a Landy? Well, you're not going to find one for eight hundred grand. You're not. Are you? you might find Patty Kane for eight hundred. You're not going to find a Landis Cog for eight hundred grand. That's why he's making Patty. Million. Patty Kane play for a million bucks probably. The Colorado Avalanche. Yeah, I mean, don't you, care. You, you actually, you actually, when we had Matt, when we had Chucky on a couple weeks ago, you asked him about, and it kind of went, it stirred the pot in the hockey world when you asked him about Patty Kane going to Florida. Yeah, and uh, Chucky said, "I give him his house, his house." I think Patty's a better fit down there, just because of Chucky, South Florida. I think that's a better fit. Yeah, because Colorado and Chicago always been kind of. They need a guy like they be, they've been kind of like you know opponents. Like, it's crazy that we're even talking about Edmonton in this, but like. A Vander Kane, as much as we like him playing with yeah. McKinnon and Rantanen, they need like a big body yeah, like Landy. I don't know. They do. I think Joe Hansen's been good so far. But the big Russian, Nutrishkin's still coming along, but I just, I hope somehow Landy can be out there for the playoffs. And I, I don't trade Gerard for Lawson Krause. <sighs> now we're talking. Byron for Lawson Krause. No, we're not trading Byron. We can't, we can't trade both. Okay. Yes. I would trade Gerard. But Lawson Krause is a good player to put up. I, Lawson Krause is a great player to put up there and a great player to put on that team in general. But This is where we need Team 33. Right yeah, I, I I would like to know what right-handed D-men are out there that make the same as Sam Gerard because I think his stock is high right now. He's playing great. You touched on him earlier in the year of how great he's been playing. But I would like another either forward and a right-handed, uh, right-handed D-man maybe. We're gonna, we'll are gonna we touch on this next yeah. week. We'll find a couple guys. We'll find a couple guys. To bring in for you. Colorado, we need that guy. We'll find out who it is. What do we got for, uh, let's look at the old TNT games here before we, we say goodbye here. What do we got Wednesday? We got Wednesday here, ups. TNT, we got Panthers, Capitals, wow. LA, Golden Knights. Wow. That's a, that's a couple good games for the boys. Anyone's jump out at you there that we could, when we release this tomorrow for the for the fellas that are looking to put some sis each? I like the over in that Panthers Capitals game. I'll tell you about that right you like now. The over? I like the Let's over. See. And uh, I'll tell you what, that Kings Golden Knights could be a good game. Maybe a little puck line. Maybe a little Kings getting a goal and a half. That seems like it could be a close one. Those are the two things that jump out to me, fella. And then we got the Battle of Ontario uh, Wednesday night. Senators Maple Leafs. I think Brady Kachuk's going to have a night. Brady could chuck anytime goal. He's pissed off. He's going to come out and play. So, uh, up dog, always a pleasure getting in here with you. Maxi, great job. Alex, thank you, fella. Hall Pass Media. That was missing curfew. Fellas.